So four must wins in a row? For must, I don't know. Every win, Doug, for us, I mean, there's no margin. Um, I was just talking to everybody about it. You know, not only, you know, win a race. It's, it's going to be a tough race uh, with Boston behind us, Atlanta's coming on, Milwaukee is still. So it's going to be a bunch of teams where every game is a, a must win, whether it's Brooklyn or San Antonio, whoever it is. It's going to be, it's a, you know, every game has its own importance. So you do need to take care of business against teams that have lesser records, or is that some part, factor? In well, it? it's a factor, but again, you can look at those lesser record teams are beating, you know, uh, our, our, our teams. I mean, we, we can't look at records when you're in a hunt like we are and, and a, in a tight race like you are. You've got to go and take care of business, play to your personality, stay focused. Uh, the other night against Boston, I thought was one of our best nights we've had playing through physicality, uh, ending in winning time. At the beginning of the game, I thought we got caught up with the officials and, and let it bother us a little bit. And Boston's a, a, a rough and tough bully type team. They play physical. And, you know, you've got to play through that. And a lot of teams we're going to be playing these next few weeks, record or whatever it is, are physical teams, hard playing teams, and we've got to play through that. Schedule aside, what's the toughest thing about this part of the <clears throat> season, uh, approaching halfway, all-star break around the corner? It's always, and you can go back and look at all your tape and look at all your notes, Josh, and it's always this time of year is the toughest time. It's you can't see the all-star break. You can't see that break coming, but it's you know it, it's down the road. You know it's there, so you, your bodies and minds go through a malaise right now, and that's what we got to fight. And I thought we fought through it in the second half of the Boston game, and it's just that time of year. Every team is going through it. Uh, the good teams find a way uh, to fight through it physically and mentally, and that's what we've got to do. You know what I said the other night? <clears throat> the quote was, "We're playing for first, and Boston's playing for second. Uh, I don't know about that. I, you know, no, we're playing. We're playing for everything. I mean, we're, we're playing. We can't look. We got to know, understand. We're playing for the team in front of us and team behind us to fight off those teams. Uh, we're not in position to say we're just playing for first place. We're we're fighting for every inch uh, of the court and uh, every night, we're playing with passion, playing with physicality. And all the other stuff will take care of itself when you do those things. But you know who's coming up behind you. you no question. Boston, Atlanta, all Milwaukee, Milwaukee, all of them. Are the, we've got the cavalry coming behind us, and, uh, you know, we've got to think that way. And, and you know, when you do that, you take care of things, whatever's in front of you. So uh, that's the way we've got to approach it. Talking about that malaise. <clears throat> As a coach, how do you, how do you, how do you prevent that, or how do you – how do you do it? Like, do you try gimmicky stuff in practice? Well, you try to keep things fresh, change up, don't watch as much film, don't go as long in practice. Today, we, you know, we had a good brisk, uh, good practice. We didn't have film. So you try to change things up, freshen it up, try to add a couple of new things in to kind of not gimmicks, but things that you need to, to add offensively and defensively, whether it's a zone or traps or whatever it is. So all those things, you try to try to keep the mental – uh, focus and a mental alertness to something different, and uh, I wouldn't call it a gimmick because, uh, believe me, we we have too many issues to gimmick it, gimmick up anything. So, uh, but again, I I want to make sure we stay sharp and ready and mentally fresh and physically fresh. Did Pat go through practice? Today? No, he did not. Delon uh, did some work with uh, the 905 last week. How's he coming? He's coming along. He and Sully both are working hard and and really uh, coming along, and there's no timetable yeah. yet, but both of them are, are you know, coming along.